welcome back to our channel. This video we are going to break down how to create this super simple transition. This transition is called picture collage transition. Today I'll show you the entire process step by step how to create this absolutely free transition. And then I'll show you a second method that takes literally 30 seconds or even less. If this is your first time here, my name is Dima from Studio Znak. And if you are ready, let's jump into the tutorial. First, let's create a frame in Photoshop. I search for Kodak Portra 400 on Google to see an example. Here you can find different PNGs, you can download them. But today I want to show you how to fully create a picture collage transition from scratch. So for this example, I will choose this PNG. Let's go back to Photoshop. For this frame, I'll use these canvas settings. It's not a square because if you look at the example, the frame looks more like a rectangle. Select the rectangle tool. I want to use a fill color. I want to use only stroke and choose black color. I also set the stroke width to 80. Let's add different texts and shapes to the frame like in our example. I'll write Kodak Portra 400 and I'm using the Neohas Grotesque font. I'll move and place it roughly here. You can move elements however you like. I'm just roughly following the example. I want to add a slight glow around the text. So to do this, double click the text layer and enable outer glow. And for this frame and text, I use these settings. Then I'll duplicate our text and write 43 and place the text roughly here. I'm not trying to be precise or align everything to the center. I just like in this way. Then I duplicate the first text layer and just leave Kodak. Next let's add some shapes. I'll make triangles, play around with their sizes and positions. Then I'll add another text layer. Again I'm not trying to be exact or centered. Add outer glow to all text layers and shapes. Now everything is ready, go to file, then export and choose quick export as PNG and choose a location. Our frame is now ready, you can customize and create your own, so feel free with it. Let's go to Premiere Pro, I've already added our frame to the project and I have a clip on the timeline. Let's add a frame to the timeline. Now we need to take three screenshots from our clip. For this tutorial I'm using only three screenshots, but you can use one or two, four and so on. Select the frame you want and click this icon export frame. Name it however you want and choose where to save it. I'll save mine to the desktop. Repeat this two more times to get three screenshots from your clip. I'll remove our frame because it gets in the way. Now add the screenshots to the project. Place the first screenshot above the main clip and add the frame on top. Go to effect controls and here you can move, rotate and scale the screenshot. Then go to opacity and click on rectangle. This creates a mask for the screenshot. I'll set the mask feather to zero right away. Select the mask points and move them to fit the frame. Select screenshot and frame, right click and choose nest. Name it uh, frame 1. Now we can fully control the frame and place it wherever you want. Let's do the same for the remaining screenshots. I'll hide the frame 1 to see better result. Add the second screenshot then the frame and create a mask for the screenshot to match the frame. Then right click, choose nest and call it frame 2. Now do the same for your third screenshot. Once everything is ready, select the main clip, use the razor tool to split the clip and at the start apply at frame hold. This will free the part of the clip. Enable visibility of frame 1 in effect controls, adjust position, scale and rotation. I'll place frame 1 roughly on the left, then enable frame 2 and move it. For this tutorial, I'll place it on the right and slightly rotate it. I'll set it to 3 degrees. Now enable frame 3 and place it roughly in the center. In the end of our transition, our frames will appear like this. First on the left, then right and the last in the sensor. Select frame 1, move 4 frames forward, set keyframes for position, scale and rotation. Now go to the start of the transition and I'll increase scale by 2 points. 
move the position slightly and you can also add some rotation, I'll do that too. I don't think it's necessary to move or rotate too much, I think it looks more better for me. Select all keyframes, right click, go to temporal interpolation and choose easy in and then easy out. Now the first animation for frame 1 is ready. Select frame 2, move it 4 frames forward where frame 1 animation ends, do the same using different values in the effect controls, move 4 frames forward and set keyframes. Go back to the start and adjust position, scale and rotation. After setting keyframes, right click and do the same steps, choose easy in and easy out. Select frame 3, move 4 frames forward and repeat the same process. You can be creative here and try different combinations. I think this transition works not only for horizontal, but you can use it for reels, uh, YouTube shorts and so on. For frame 3, set keyframes for position, scale and rotation and don't forget to choose easy in and easy out. One that's done, move 3 or maybe 4 frames ahead from the last keyframe of frame 3 and cut the extra part. Now we already have a nice looking transition, but I want to make it more interesting. Go into the frame 1 composition, select the screenshot, go to effects and look for brightness and contrast effect and add it to the screenshot. Set the first keyframe for brightness at 100, then move 4 frames forward and set it to 0. Now copy this effect and paste it onto all screenshots in frame 2 and frame 3. Now we get, I think, more interesting transition with a simple, I call it like light flash effect. Select frame 1, go to effects, look for drop shadow effect and apply it. Set opacity to 100, distance to 0 and softness to about 140. Copy drop shadow and paste it to frame 2 and frame 3. Create an adjustment layer and add it to the timeline. Move it 2 frames to the left and 2 frames to the right and cut the rest. Add brightness and contrast effect on adjustment layer, set a keyframe in the center with brightness at 100 and 0 on the sides. You can duplicate the effect like me and here is the result. I absolutely love how we made it and this transition is definitely one of my favorites. It's quick, very dynamic and it's a bit of vintage and has a retro vibe. Now I'd like to show you a faster template we already made for you. You don't have to spend time creating screenshots, animation and the set of keyframes. We did it for you. I'm talking about our picture class transitions. This project includes more than 60 different transitions with unique sound effects. And if you're interested, I'll leave a link below this video, but let me quickly show you how it works. So in Premiere Pro, open window, then choose essential graphics. This panel will appear on the right for me, or maybe somewhere else depending on your setup. Search for CNZ which means Studio Snack and here you will find all our mockup files uh, which we created. Here you will find transitions with the same kind of frames that are already animated and you can customize it. Choose any transition and I'll pick uh, Kodak 1, just drop it above your clip on the timeline. All our transition come with sound effects so you don't need to find or sing there separately. Select the transition and in the essential graphics panel you can customize it. Let's add media by the way, pick a screenshot and drag it into the panel. The first screenshot goes to media 1 and so on. As you can see everything works very fast and you don't have to create masks for your screenshots. You can move, scale and adjust each media to fit your clip. Under the control step, you can adjust text color, lightness and contrast. You can also enable or disable the light effect at the end of the transition. And here is what we get in just a few seconds. It's very fast, dynamic and I think it's super duper easy. I'm really happy that each transition in this pack comes with its own sound effect. It makes everything feel even better. 
I leave a link below this video on this project and go try it today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next one. Good luck.